Pope Francis has given women a voice within the Roman Catholic Church during his seven-year pontificate, appointing many to high-ranking positions. For example, in 2019, Pope Francis hired 1,016 women, making up 22 percent of all Vatican employees. For these reasons and many more, Vaticanist Nina Fabrizio wrote this book, El Papa della Donna, or The Pope of Women in English. The Pope has a relationship with women that is full of mutual reciprocation. I believe there is a dialogue between this Pope and the women from his religious world, which also includes nuns. Religious sisters are able to help on multiple fronts. One I mention in the book is how they fight against trafficking. Pope Francis has denounced prostitution and trafficking throughout his pontificate, caring for the person behind this modern form of slavery. Pienso en los migrantes, despojados de su hogar y familia, así como tantos otros que, como ellos, pueden sentirse olvidados, huérfanos, abandonados. Then there's also a dialogue with all women, lay, Catholic, obviously with Christians, but Pope Francis is a large world leader who knows how to reach those outside of the Catholic Church. I believe he's currently in dialogue with all women. Nina insists this also stems from Pope Francis's great devotion to Our Lady and the sense of maternity she offers the Church. That's why she was surprised to receive a letter from Pope Francis reflecting on her book and this idea of maternity. He speaks of a humiliated maternity. He says we live in a society where the importance is given to the economy, while maternity is put on the sidelines. If I can add, as I say in my book, maternity means a family, so there's also a father. Women need to be valued because they are an important component in society. El Papa de la Donne was originally published this February, but with the lockdown was unable to make its way to bookstores. Now, as coronavirus restrictions loosen, it can be found in its original Italian.